Joe and this is Greg with Fox Family Heating and Air. I'm doing good. Uh, I just wanted to call and let you know that I'm on my way and uh, my GPS says I should be there uh, right around 10 o'clock, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, see you then. Bye. So, the joys of business ownership, it's all good. It's just uh, as an owner, you got many hats to wear, and it's been a learning process for me. Um, in particular, I had two bids on jobs go in this week. One was a bigger job, one was a, uh, just a regular change out on a package unit uh, on the roof. But um, um, the big job got, a, got approved, so we're going to be moving forward with that. I actually start it tomorrow, and that's going to take me a few days uh, to get going. I got a buddy of mine that's going to help out on the install. <coughs> so very appreciative of that. He's a real good tech. Um, and then the other <coughs> was just the change out on the package unit. The learning process was, you know, my email, I have a, my email system, I use uh, mail.com and I sent over the proposal to the realtor uh, who's trying to flip the house. So I waited, you know, I, usually when I leave a quote, I'll, uh, I'll wait like 48 hours before getting back with them. So I, I did wait 48 hours, I got back with them and let them know, uh, hey, um, or I just asked them, hey, um, how did you feel about the, the quote on the job? And she's all, I never got a quote on the job from you. I'm like, oh man, that's weird. So I checked my set uh, folder on my mail, on my mailbox and it looks like it's sent. So I texted her back, <coughs> texted her back and I said, uh, hey, check your spam. Um, you know, maybe, it, maybe it's in there and it was not in there. So I tried to send it to her again. I actually sent it from my personal email to her. And so she's like, uh, okay, I got it, thank you. Well, I got back with her um, uh, 24 to 48 hours later, and I said, uh, "How's the job? How, how did the quote look for you?" Because I thought it was a very reasonable quote, and she said, um, "She said uh, it's too far out of it's it's too far out of our budget." I was like, hmm, "That's weird." So I, yeah, I kind of stewed on it a little bit and I thought about it and I texted her back. I was like, uh, what kind of price are you looking for so that I can earn your business? So um, so she said that I quoted her uh, one price, which was actually about $6,000 more than what I actually quoted her on the job. So she texted me back and she said that uh, that's the price I gave her. I was like, I was like, huh, that's weird. It's very similar to the price on the uh, the big job I'm doing this <laughs> this week. And so I went and checked that email, and sure enough, I sent her the quote on the bigger job. So I was like, oh, my fault. I'm so sorry. Um, I gave you a quote for for another job. Your quote is actually this. And she's like, oh, okay, cool. Because she, she said, um, which my quote was actually $600 less than uh, the competitor. So, so she says, oh, well, I'm, I'm glad you called back because that's a good price. You know, that's a good price. Um, does that include all permits and, and uh, testing? And I was like, yep, sure does. So... I told her, I said, I'll, I'll take a picture when I get home and I'll send you the quote. I'll be home in about 10 minutes, I'll send that to you. So I get home and I take a picture of of it and try to send it to her te via text message. 
and um, I, you know, I wait like until the next day, I guess, for a response. And I said, um, "Did you see the quote?" And she says, "She says no, it never came." I'm like, ah, god damn, like this stinks. I'm just trying to communicate, but I, so. So I, um, yeah, I took a picture of it again, and I actually, so I looked on my text messaging, and I actually saw that that picture never actually went through. It, 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 it you know, I get like a notification telling me that the person received it, and sure enough, that person never did receive it. So I had sent her, so I sent her a picture again, but apparently on my text messaging service, it sends a link for the picture and then she opens the picture I, I tried it with my wife and it just looks it just it just looks funny and it just it looks unprofessional you know the way I sent it um, so it sends you a link for the picture and then you know if you use your fingers and like you know just zoom in on the picture like a lot of people know how to do then you can see the picture but she texted me back saying and you know, I don't blame her, uh, but she sent me a picture, she sent me a text message back saying, um, I got the picture of the quote, but I can barely read it. It's, it's very illegible. So, so this lady probably thinks I'm just a freaking idiot, can't coordinate anything, let alone install a system. And I'm all, you know, okay, well, and so I didn't hear anything back from her for a little while. And I thought, and I even told my wife, uh, she's probably done talking to us. You know, she's just going to go with the quote a little bit higher and low. So, you know, originally I just had a $75 invoice for her for a safety inspection. And so I had my wife uh, email that to her today. And she says, hey, can you send me the, can you see, send me a copy of the invoice? Or can you send me a copy of the the quote? And um, you know, can it? Can you put the address of the house on there? And um, you know, can you also write that you'll do the um, uh, pull the permits and do the te Title Twenty Four tw testing? And uh, so I have. Yeah, I was like, I was just getting ready to walk out the door to it. Um, and I said, Yeah, yeah. Can you please do that? Can you type in uh, all this stuff. You know, this extra stuff she wants to see in there. So we just sent it off to her, and that has been our. That I mean, that was kind of like uh, this, that's just kind of the story of us um, fumbling through a, a quote, just a simple quote. What should have just been a simple quote to to uh, to a lady? I, I thought I uh, took care of with that first email, but it, it didn't happen. So so I got to figure out a better way to be you know, more efficient, more direct uh, on uh, giving people quotes. You know, I used to work for a company where where we could, I could just call in to uh, one of the head sales guys and he would just tell, he would call us right back within a few minutes and I'd have all the information I needed to sit down at the, you know, at the kitchen table with them and talk about uh, what you know what it would take to get them a new system in there given pricing everything um, and, and So right now right now it takes me about 24 hours to get somebody a quote <clears throat> So I got to call in to my dealer or my distributor and Then he's got to get me some prices and then I got to figure out you know some other stuff and then we can come, and then I can come up with uh, a price. So usually by the usually if I if I was out there in the daytime, then usually by the evening I can get them a quote. It just kind of depends on my distributors and uh, how quick they are. So, anyways, I just thought I'd share that story with you. I gotta get <clears throat> I gotta get better. So, and I have a strong desire to get better. Okay, guys, well, I thought I would just share that with you, and I uh, hope you guys all have a good day out there, make lots of money, and work hard, take care of your customers, and...
and um, we will see you guys soon. All right, talk to you later.